Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Are you ready for Miguel Cotto versus Antonio Margarito 3? Well, if you are, it's happening this weekend in the Philippines at 112 pounds. Playing Miguel Cotto is the reigning WBO flyweight champion Brian Valoria, the Hawaiian punch, right? And his opponent is a WBO light flyweight titleist Giovanni Segura. Let's talk about it. Brian Valoria is the Hawaiian punch. He's a guy who, quite frankly, has faster hands than Giovanni Segura. He has the better boxing skills. If you like a guy who can make you miss, right, who can block your shots, get off his, jump in with very well-timed hooks after setting you up with a jab and who's advanced enough where he doesn't have to lead with the jab, right? He can literally jump in with a hook or a straight right hand as his lead punch. You want to take a look at Brian Valoria. He's very talented. He has power in both hands, right? Unlike Miguel Cotto, who's primarily left-hand dominant, Valoria has a pretty good left hand, but he has an excellent right hand. In fact, like Miguel Cotto, some opponents of Valoria's have actually tried to cut corners to beat him. Notably, the Ulysses Solis fight where Solis decided to imitate Abner Maris and throw low blow after low blow when he realized he was in the ring with a superior technician. That video is up on YouTube. And the way Valoria closed the show was by jumping in with a right hook that hit Solis on the button, taking him out of the fight. But if you look at the fight, it's really striking. You can tell when a fighter realizes that the other fighter has some superior skills because it's clear that Solis understood that he needed to go low because Brian Valoria's defense was such that Valoria was blocking his shots up, his shots up top as well as his punches to the body, right? So Solis had to go under the belt line to hurt Valoria, such as Valoria's talent, right? Here's the catch. Valoria, like many technicians, needs space to operate, right? He doesn't like to be up against the ropes smothered. In my opinion, he's uncomfortable there. Now, Giovanni Segura, in my opinion, is Antonio Margarito only. He's younger, slightly younger, not much younger, but he's younger, with more foot speed for his weight. And we're talking about 112 pounds for this fight. Segura, of course, is a champ at 108. For his weight, Segura has more power than Antonio Margarito. Right, Margarito is more of an accumulation puncher. Segura is the kind of guy who literally can take you out with one or two punches. He doesn't need the full combination to do so, even though he throws punches in bunches. And of course, unlike Margarito, Segura doesn't have a bad eye. Right, he even works with Javier Capitello the trainer involved in the Margarito hand wrap controversy. Now, Segura has made it clear that he works with Javier in the gym, but that Javier has never wrapped 
his hands, right? Just know that the style is a style that has been perfected by Antonio Margarito's trainer, who also is working with Giovanni Segura, right? Segura is a pressure fighter who crowds and suffocates technicians, right? He beat Ivan Calderon twice. He's the man who took Calderon's title. He doesn't give a technician a chance to set up shop, right? He comes in, and this is the Javier Capitello, Antonio Margarito style. He comes in and he throws, and this is by design, he throws punches from low down, right? The punches are hooks that start from low down and they're uppercuts. And it's very hard because the punches are looping punches. It's very hard for a technician to accurately figure out the trajectory, right? Sometimes, and you've seen this in Margarito fights, Sometimes Margarito will throw a punch that looks like it's going to be a body punch and then he'll turn it up and it ends up being an uppercut, hitting the guy's chin. Other times it's a hook to the body, right? Because the punches are looping, I believe that technicians who are accustomed to countering shorter punches have their timing thrown off and because the fight style is unique and because it's two-handed, it's very hard to duplicate in training camp with a sparring partner, right? And Segura, you need to look at his feet. While Valoria has pretty good foot speed, understand that Segura has excellent foot speed, right? Segura knows how to back an opponent up against the ropes, right? Pressure, bus, pipes. My call on this fight is I like the light flyweight champion, Giovanni Segura, to beat Brian Valoria in the Philippines. I believe he takes the judges out of the fight by ending this fight by KO, right? Segura has a very high knockout ratio, I believe, of his 28 wins. 24 of them are by knockout. And I believe he is the kind of guy who should be able to collapse the space between himself and Valoria, right? He should be able to get Valoria up on the ropes and I don't believe that Valoria up on the ropes is gonna know how to clinch how to hold Segura how to literally stop the onslaught right there is a reason in my opinion and this is just my opinion that Floyd Mayweather turned down an eight million dollar offer to fight Antonio Margarito. In fact, many boxing purists believe that just like Sugar Ray Robinson avoided Charlie Burley, Floyd Mayweather avoided Antonio Margarito because Margarito's style is very bad for a defensively minded technician. Right? Manny Pacquiao was able to beat Antonio Margarito by fighting an ambush fight. Pacquiao's at his best, quite frankly, jumping back, jumping in, throwing a combination, jumping to the side, throwing a combination, right? He's much more offensive than a counterpuncher who's defensive like a Brian Valoria. I think Giovanni Segura overwhelms Brian Valoria in this fight. I think Valoria is going to have a very hard time blocking punches that seem to be coming from below Giovanni Segura's waistline, right? And I don't think that Segura is as easy to hit 
as he looks on film. In other words, this uh, Javier Capitello fight style has fighters literally moving their head, right? Don't look at the film of older Margarito. Antonio Margarito is getting hit now a lot more than he used to get hit in his mid-20s, right? Go back and look at older Margarito, and you're going to see a guy who had upper head movement because this Javier Capitello style has guys throwing uppercuts and moving for leverage as they throw the uppercuts. The style literally lends itself to head movement. I think Giovanni Segura is very hard to hit when he's up on you throwing a two-handed attack of hooks and uppercuts right from up in close. I like Giovanni Segura in this fight. I'll be surprised if it goes the distance. I'll concede that Segura has had stamina problems in the past and that if you're a straddle better, and I believe in straddle betting, the straddle bet I'm recommending is Giovanni Segura by KO straddled against Brian Valoria by decision. That's how I see this one. Let me know how you do. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.